this is War Backwards is Raw, and I'm going to try to show you how the 80-year war cycle that I've discovered and talked about is related to what now I call the 70-year uh, con cycle. So the 80-year war cycle concerns wars and debts of war. The 70-year con cycle uh, concerns the constitution, all right? So to review the 80-year war cycle, we start with the American Revolution. It ends in 1781. Add 80 takes you to 1861. Civil War begins. Add 80, it takes you to 1941. World War II begins. Add 80 and brings you right into the present moment of 2021. The Corona War is in place. Now there could be further developments in this whole idea of a, of a uh, war against a virus. Uh, it could lead to an actual bombs and bullets type phony war. Now if you notice I put a prediction down here 2001 the next major war will begin on this cycle the 80 year war cycle. Now this coordinates with and runs parallel to the 70 year cycle I call the con cycle. So the first con begins in 1793. Okay? Now we add 70 that, it takes us to 1863. The second con begins, we add 70 to that, and that takes us to 1933. And we add 70 to that, it takes us to 2003, where the fourth con uh, is now in effect. When will the next con take place, or con number five? 2073 follow these cycles. So let's go a little further with this. Now exactly what is the con cycle? Okay, the con cycle has to deal with none other than the Constitution. Alright? So we began with the Articles of Confederation which was the original agreement of the colonies here in what we call the United States of America, but at the time it was just known as America. Then the first con that was introduced was called the Constitution for the United States of America. For, small letter U, small letter T. Now that con began in 1793. Now why 1793? Well, the uh, Constitution is ratified by the last state in 1790, and in 1791 our, uh, amendments are sent out so that basically by 1793 you have the complete con. You have the original Constitution plus amendments is now in place. So that's a con because this con will then take care of all the debt of the so-called American Revolutionary War. Huge debt. Now the second con or constitution number two is 1863. Alright? That's when that one will begin because 70 years is all you can go with a con or with a dead imposition on the heads of, of uh, individuals, okay? So every 70 years you must construct a new con. So the new con this time is called the Constitution of the United States and I believe there's a capital W and a capital S. So this document is different from this document. Now it's a con, remember, Nobody can really understand this or see this because it goes by you so quickly and your mind just doesn't think this way. But in the, quote, legal realm or the color of law fiction, uh, the change of any one letter or one word or, or how you capitalize or how you put small letters creates a whole new thing, okay? So this is a completely different con from this con. 
So now we add 70 to 1863 and brings you down to 1933, all right? And that's where the third con takes place, and that is the Constitution of the United States. Now notice, America is missing in the third con. Now the one that I believe we're in now is the, what I call the fourth con, which would be the United States Constitution. It appears they're in all capitals. All right? So when is the next one? Well, if this cycle is true, and it certainly seems to be, it's the year 2073. That's the next expected con. So let's take a look at this a little further about the meaning of a constitution. Okay, now a constitution is really not at all about giving you, quote, rights. Now that's the modern perception, and we're under perception management, or hoax system, or lie system, or uh, occult um, uh, power of demon system, whatever you want to say, all right, however you want to call it. We are being conned because it is a bankruptcy compact. It's of contract and it is a contract of debt. In other words, who is going to be responsible for the payment of these huge debts? Now, what are the huge debts? Those are the wars. All right? That is the purpose of the war. The purpose of the war is nothing to do at all with ideology, nothing at all to do with freedoms, nothing at all to do with liberating people. That's all hoax and nonsense. The purpose of this is to create a whole bunch of junk at a high cost and then take the debt of that junk and the debt of the ones that run the junk and put them on the heads of the people. Now who are the people? They are the straw men and straw women. Okay, now forget about the fact you are body, soul, and spirit. I understand that. I'm with you. You are body, soul, and spirit. You are not a straw man or a straw woman. You are body, soul, and spirit. However, because you live in this world, you can do nothing. Nothing unless you have a straw man or straw woman. That's why now you're being uh, hit up with all the time for identification. All the time, show me you pay bills. All the time. And everything you have or you think you have or you own or you think you own is in capitalized letters. And that's part of the con too, by the way. Not only is your body and your work under this debt system actually <laughs> your possessions are too. Now, <laughs> that's a whole nother topic and it may get some people really riled and feathers really ruffled because nobody likes to be told you've been conned, right? And that's the whole basis of you listening to me. You realize you've been conned, right? And so most people that don't want to hear this, they won't go any further with my videos they won't go any further with this whole idea you've been conned. And I'll, I'll try to talk about that in another video as well. All right, so you are, and I am, whether we like it or not, we are a corpse with an oration, corporation. And that's your capitalized individual, uh, phony individual, fake individual that's on your driver's license, your passport, uh, your documents of ownership, supposed ownership of car, of house, you name it. And if you don't have one of these, right, if you bow out and say, I'm not going to be a straw man or a straw woman, basically speaking, you're not going to have a bank account. Uh, you won't be able to maybe even rent a home. Uh, you won't be able to purchase a car. Nothing. Zero. So I'm sorry to tell you, it's pretty much a no-win situation, and uh, there's going to be a lot of folks out there going to say, oh, you can get out of this, you buy your straw man back, and all this stuff. Well, you know what, I think they could be uh, part of a hoax too, and that they're going to make money off of you. They tell you how to do this, and all you're going to find out is you're going to have trouble, 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 the rest of your life. You'll do nothing but fight. A system that's so overwhelming and so powerful that 
you, you just honestly just remember the scripture I get on this is over and over again render to Caesar what's Caesar's and render to God what's God's so if you're in this phony compact system where a debt is placed on your head that you never incurred I'm sorry that's just the way, the way the world is run. And by the world, I mean the fallen system. I mean the system that's owned by the devil. All right? But you can live above and beyond it by saying, this world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. Just like that wonderful hymn of the church, this world is not my home. Even though this has been thrown on me, this constitution, even though the debt of a phony war has been thrown on me, it's not my home. I'm just passing through. So what that means is you need to live your life for Christ. You need to live your life for the one who is the way, the truth, and the life. And if you're looking for rewards, you're going to put them in heaven. Don't bank here on earth. Put your rewards in heaven. And neither rust nor moth nor thieves can get at it, okay? So say no to the hoax life system. Uh, say yes to God's system. And just try to find peace of mind in knowing that all this stuff is not really what you're about. But you have to live with it. And I'm sorry, I don't go along with these folks and tell you, oh, you can buy your way out or you can buy your straw man or whatever. No, I think that's just another hoax to make money on you because it's a system you're not going to win. And if you think you're going to win, you're going to have so much stress, I honestly think it could cause major sickness in your life or perhaps even death because of the stress of fighting all these individuals. Remember, they're everywhere, okay? They're in every town, they're in every city, they're in every state, they're in every country, all right? It's worldwide, it's the devil system. So you, you, you just have to throw up your hands and say, I belong to God, and I trust Him. And none of this is really my life. So I have to render my dues under Caesar. But don't forget the second half, render unto God what belongs to God. And I'm going to tell you something. Your body, your soul, and your spirit belong to God. All right? Now, this world wants the straw man, this world wants the straw woman, right? But God wants your body, soul, and spirit. So submit to Him, and you'll find peace, because you're just a passing through, and this world is not your home. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate your viewership.